Okay, so now we're going to take a look at functions. So we've taken a look at relations for the last couple uh, of videos here. Remember, a relation is just a relationship between the x and the y values in an ordered pair. A function is a very special type of relationship. So we'll go ahead and fill this in. So a function is a special type of relation. In a function, no two ordered pairs have the same first x first component or the x coordinates. Um, this is not just a relationship between the values in an ordered pair, instead it's a relationship between different ordered pairs. So we create this kind of um, pattern. Um, note it does not have to be an f for the function, it can be any letter, so we'll get to that in just a moment. I, this just popped up so I was reading it. Um, so a function um, is written in a form where we have f with x in parentheses equals x minus 2. So this is an example one. Um, just what you might see. So we read this as f of x or the function of x. That's when you see this f with the x in parentheses, you say f of x or the function of x equals x minus 2. Um, a table is used to organize coordinates of a function. So when we see this kind of problem in Alex, what it wants us to do is plug in these numbers, these values for x and see what do we get in this function. What does the function equal? Okay, so when it says f of x in this column, it's saying what does this whole side equal when I plug in negative 5? What does this whole side equal when I plug in 0? So we can actually see, I'm going to plug this in, so f of negative 5 equals, and I take the equation negative 2 times negative 5 plus 2. So I just took this equation, and instead of x, I have negative 5. Um, and then I just go through and I start simplifying, so f of negative 5 equals, I multiplied, negative 2 times negative 5 is 10, positive 10, 2 negatives make a positive, plus 2, so I get 12. So if I plug in negative 5 for this function, I get 12. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing, we're going to do it for 0. So f of 0 equals negative 2 times 0 plus 2. So negative 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. Alright, so now we're going to do 1, because that's the number they're giving us negative 2 times 1 plus 2, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Now we're going to do 2, so negative 2 times 2 plus 2, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 2 is negative 2. Alright, last one, we have negative 2 times 4, so we get negative 8, and then plus 2, we get negative 6. So if you notice on this one, Everything is saying the same in this equation, whoops, didn't mean to go to the next screen, except for that variable. So if you notice, it's negative 5, 0, 1, 2, 4, negative 5, 0, 1, 2, 4. So the only thing changing is that x. I'm inserting a new x. That's an input. The output is this column. What do I get from putting in negative 5 or 0 or 1 or 2 or 4? So that's why sometimes we call this the input and the output, because that's exactly what they are. Um, all right, so we're going to try this one more time. Um, we have another practice problem here. So the function g is defined by the following rule. So that just shows you when I was noting over here that it doesn't have to be f for function. That doesn't actually mean function. Um, but this is, um, we would still say the function of x on this one, even though it does not an f. g is just the name of this function by chance. It can be any letter in the alphabet. Um, so this is the rule, that's what they call a function, is it's the rule, it's defined by this following rule. So g of x, or um, the function of x, equals negative x minus 4. So this time I'm going to plug in whatever they're asking for x. I need to make sure I'm paying attention to that negative in front, that's not part of the number that I'm plugging in, that's actually in front of it. And then I'll subtract 4, so let's see. So this one I have g of negative 4 equals, there's a negative here because it was already there. And then I put negative 4 in because that's what they asked me to, then minus 4. So I want to reduce that. Negative negative 4 is positive 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So now I'm going to plug in negative 3. Negative negative 3, that's going to turn into positive 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Now I'm going to plug in 0. Negative 0, well that's not really going to change anything, right? That's just going to be 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. And then I get 2, so negative 2 minus 4, that's I'm not going to change it all. So if you notice, I just kind of kept it the same because there's nothing that changes here. So I'm just going to combine and go negative 6. 
and then same thing with negative 5. There's nothing that's going to change there. Negative 5 minus 4, well, there's, it's not negative negative or anything like that, so it's just negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. So we're just plugging in the, the numbers that they're giving us and seeing what do we get out. So our, here's our input, here's our output. That's all they're asking us to do on these function tables. Um, so I hope that helped, and I will see you on the next video.